what's up YouTube welcome back to the channel I just warmed it up I'm on the center stand before that I, I had it up here because I, after that 780 mile round trip I wanted to check the coolant level and check the oil level so we had it running oh well, we checked the coolant level first had it running for a couple minutes let it sit for a couple minutes none of my pants fit anymore by the way they're way too big so I'm having a hard time getting my leg over <laughs> and uh, I am pleased it's not burning oil and it's not losing coolant so i'm really happy about that so i want to give a big shout out to all the new subs that have come by in the last couple weeks man i really appreciate all the support i'm getting on there and i want to i want to give a shout out to my first two patreons or patrons i guess you would say crazy cooter and uh david nick I'm trying to work out some of the details on exactly what i want to include in all of the tiers uh right now i've got a few things set for each tier in terms of benefits for being a patron a couple folks suggested the discord thing i don't know i just feel like for now with it, with it being such a small crowd we're already in the same discord so i don't know if that's a benefit what do you think what do you think down below let me know so today today's wednesday today's the day before thanksgiving i just got back from georgia on sunday have not been on a motorcycle since i pretty much just kind of stayed in the house most of the time Yesterday, we took a trip down to the aquarium for my two and a half year old grandson. He loves that kind of stuff and I love taking him to it. He gets so excited. So today we're headed down to the River's Edge Bar and Grill, which I've been there a couple times before. Uh, I'm meeting Drunk in the Field, Dino Bro Special, and Bobber Fett. Have some beers in the middle of the afternoon. Wife gave me the green light. For my Royal Enfield family, I promise you, in this video, we are putting on headers on the Bollywood Bruiser. I've had them sitting in my garage for over a month. Uh, the Goldwing has been keeping me really busy. I still have some maintenance I'm gonna do. Uh, this weekend, I'm probably gonna change the fork seals on this thing finally, but I still don't know if I'm going to change those seals with the forks on the bike, or if I'm gonna figure out how to take them off the bike. I'm sure figuring it out means looking up a YouTube video and somebody else taking them off. That's how I figure out pretty much everything. <laughs> That's the way things are these days, isn't it? Uh, but either way, I'm going to get that done. I'm, I'm really, really, really happy that I'm at a point where I'm not burning oil, not uh, burning any coolant. It wasn't really doing those things uh, to begin with, but I wasn't sure. You never know when you buy you know, a used motorcycle or any kind of used vehicle, what kind of fluids it's going to burn through. It seems to be settled in. I'm satisfied with a 780 uh, mile round trip not huge but it's still you know it's first real test uh, you know we went through 70 degree weather went through 43 degree weather it did real well i'm really really happy with this motorcycle in fact i'm riding it today because i just love it so much so we're taking it down to the river's edge and uh, we're going to be on the uh freeway for a little bit so that's another motivator for riding uncle Bo Gator down if you'll notice i do not have the gopro set up on the dash this time I, I, I want to figure out something and I want to use that claw because I really liked the convenience of having it, um, you know, pointing at my face so I could do some of that different angle moto vlog talk. I really like that. I think it helps me connect with you a little bit better. And man, I was really blown away by how easy it was for me to unclip it, get some environmental shots and then put it right back on. The problem is, as you saw, if you watched the last video, it's just in the way and it's really awkward anyway we're gonna head to the bar since i do have other things going on in this video namely putting the headers on the royal enfield i don't want to cut in uh too much of that with the moto block piece so we'll see you down there all right welcome back it's two days later once i got to the bar i never pulled my camera back out you know sometimes you just want to sit and have beers with the boys and not turn everything into a filming event and that's the way i am a lot of the time sometimes i just want to ride sometimes I just want to drink beers you know i just didn't feel like interrupting the conversations that we were having the other night with recording but today today's the day after thanksgiving and we are finally finally going to change these out for headers. I downloaded this sound meter app. I'm not sure how accurate it is. I want to get cold start before, uh, rev up to like 4,000 RPMs and get a cold start after I change the headers, do another 
uh, rev up to 4,000 RPMs or so and see if the sound is, uh, how much difference it makes, it, if at all. One of the things I'm worried about, even putting on the slip-ons gave it so much airflow that it is running a little bit lean. You can definitely tell that when I let off the throttle, you can hear it pop as it gets back down into your regular idle range or whatever, but this is gonna add to that. And I know I can fix that by getting the power commander and having that tuned right, uh, but we're not there yet. So let's get these changed and see what happens. First things first, let's get this thing started with the stock headers on and see what the decibels are. Let's change out the headers. I didn't want to do that too much because I don't want it to be too hot while I'm working on it. And then uh, we'll check it again after. Design this uh, reusable rubber grommet. Eat a big old bag of donkey dicks. That thing fucking sucks. sun's blown out on my face so we got the headers installed i believe we had 94 decibels on cold start uh, i'm going to do a cold start now i'm going to let it idle for like 15 minutes to let the ecu kind of settle in then we'll do a rev so let's see what it's like on cold start Okay, now we're gonna rev it up a little past 4,000 RPMs and see what the decibels are. Not bad. I'm looking forward to this. I've been sitting on these headers for like a month now. So the headers came packed up in those uh, packing peanuts and I think a couple of them got stuck in the pipes and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> they were burning off. Uh, let me go, hell yeah, all right, here we go. Yeah, she's louder. So, good news is I'm not hearing a whole lot of popping. So, I guess, uh, I don't know, putting just the cans on made it pop quite a bit when I let off the gas. Maybe this time putting these headers on and letting it run for 10, 15 minutes cleared that up a little bit. Who knew? I wouldn't have guessed that. My shirt's flying up my back. <laughs> Woo! She's got a bassier note to her now. Oh, I can smell it packing peanut and they're uh, burning. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's the first time I've ever put headers on a motorcycle. Now, when I had my Sportster that I rode for a long time, I traded out the stock pipes for straight pipes. So I guess you could say I had headers on that, just I didn't have any slip-ons to go over them. Just headers, but just street pipes, I guess. Uh, and these, these slip-ons here, these new little boy pops, 
there's like no resistance in these things so it's pretty much straight pipes with whatever kind of honeycomb they have in it uh, to make it even louder man i just want to open her up so bad it's the day after thanksgiving it's black friday i think we're gonna have a lot of looky loos on the road just keep hooting and hollering but i'm having a good fucking time with these things man i should wait until i get in the sunlight again on on this one but i really like uh how this looks a whole lot better than the stock ones uh because i, I already had the uh slip-ons there but the, the, the stock pipes coming out of the jugs were chrome and i really just didn't like that that contrast there these being brushed aluminum and not having the catalytic converters in there just make all the difference in my in my opinion on how the thing looks from the profile this thing is beautiful uh, 45 millimeter inner diameter here's the stock ones i need to mow my grass don't hate me you see how they have the cap these are catalytic converters inside of here lots of restriction on the airflow now free flowing free range baby free range bruiser All right, we're at our spot for the night. I brought my phone with me because I'm uh, a failure and didn't bring my camera, but this is our spot. We're gonna wrap this video up here. This was just kind of a week in the life. You know, I had the whole week off. I didn't do a whole lot really, or not anywhere near what I thought I was gonna do. But we're gonna wrap up the week and this video, come in here, eat some wings, have some beers, and then, yeah, thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time.